Hey everybody, this is Vril. Welcome back to Extended Timeline World War II. In the last episode, we had quite a few wars fire off. One of the wars that actually did end during the episode, though, was the Germans facing off against the Swiss, and Germany ended up taking all of the provinces from Switzerland. I also noticed in between episodes that Italy had taken over all of Slovenia, just taking over that one province that was left over. Let's have a look at the militaries of the world. USA is always on top, followed by the Chinese, the Germans, the Soviet Union, and Japan rounding out the top five. I will note here that quite a few of these are nearing, are out of manpower or nearing being out of manpower, so that should affect some of the things going forward. I mean, the Soviet Union are actually in a couple wars right now, so that won't go very well for them. Japanese are in a couple wars as well. Let's have a look at what wars are going on. We have the Spanish Mauritanian Imperialist War that's in Africa, Western Africa. We have the American Reconquest of Manila against the Japanese. We have the Cape Colonies along with some other British colonies have declared their independence and so they have a war going on against the British. Quite a few other allies including the Soviet Union here. We have the Soviet Reconquest War against the Japanese. The Japanese took over some of the Eastern Soviet Union in a, in a previous episode, so the Soviets want that back. We also have the re, uh, French reconquest here in Laos, so French are tr trying to regain some areas of Indochina. So let's just go ahead and get things started and we'll head over to the east and see these things go down. We've got the Americans have sieged down all of the Philippines, which is actually called Indonesia. We've talked about that before. The Americans actually, I think at the end of the episode, they actually did land some troops here in mainland Japan. I guess it was the southern island, but you'd still consider that mainland Japan, at least in the game's sake. We have the Soviets moving into what is Japanese Korea here. So they're sieging down some areas. This is a pretty good uh, battle between them. We do know that the Japanese are completely out of manpower, but they're, they're you know, uh, defending pretty well here. We've got, looks like Manchukos sieged out some provinces against the Soviet Union as well. That war is still going on the side of the Soviets, I believe. Again, we have the French are trying to take back parts of Indochina here, uh, in, uh, part of Laos, which would be Indochina, French Indochina. So unfortunately for them, they've actually, the uh, Laotians actually have a three-star general here, so they haven't been able to face off against them yet, so I would, I would think that the Laotians would win that battle if it came to it. Let's see, we've got, we, have we not discussed, we've got the Cape Colonies, probably should use our diplomatic view just a little bit here. Cape Colonies at war with the British, trying to gain their independence. Is anybody sieging anything down? I thought I saw some provinces in Algeria, but I guess not. Let's have a quick look here. Nothing sieged. British haven't sieged anything in the Cape Colonies. Was Rhodesia? They were allied with Cape Colony. I thought so. We've also got this war between Mauritania and uh, Spain here. Did that? It has ended, okay. So Spanish Maghreb has expanded their size here against Mauritania. I think that was quite a bit of this was Mauritania before. Let's see, what have we got? I think the main wars we want to look at are over here in the east as we started out. We'll see if, okay, the Japanese have moved some forces to the Philippines here. So we'll see if the, I guess they did resiege back one of their provinces. We'll see what the Americans end up doing. See if they actually end up sending anybody to mainland Japan or not. Looks like we've got a battle between the Soviets and the Japanese here. Looks like the Japanese won that one. And it looks like the Japanese here siege this province, but they're not moving their forces any further in. So I'm not sure why they're not doing that. That is what they're doing. Okay. Looks like the 
French are trying to siege down a province that the Laotians had taken previously, and they were successful there. So I'd be curious to see if these the Laotians and the French actually fight each other or not. We've got quite a few American fleets moving around in the waters here. The Chinese, actually, I mean, they've got this huge army, but they haven't been... I mean, they did take over a few provinces from Manchukuo, but I thought they might expand the other direction. I guess it depends who they're allied with. I mean, they're certainly not going to attack the British colonies if if they're allied with the British. They are allied with the Soviets, so maybe they'll end up taking, you know, Mongolia, possibly Tibet. They'll probably still wage some wars against the Japanese, though. So we've got a quite a few few hundred American uh, stack and their fleet there, so I wouldn't be surprised if the Americans are going to try to... Okay, yeah, there, there it is, right there. Land some more troops here in mainland Japan. So that should really move the war score in their favor if they start be, uh, sieging in the mainland here. Would like to know why the Japanese are moving here. Looks like the French are actually sieging parts of Laos here. What the French need to do is bring in some more troops to actually take, you know, if they can bring in 20 or 30k, then they should be able to take out this Laotian stack with this three-star general. Let's head on over to Africa and see if anything's going on there. So we do have Algeria is on the side of the British, so they're sieging out some of the Cape Colony there. Looks like, again, the Algeria is on the side of the British, so it looks like Cape Colony or, or its allies, which it looks like it's allies. We've got British Nigeria are allied with the Cape Colony, so they're trying to siege out some areas of Algeria here. So that is who Cape Colony is at war with. Are they... Okay, that's just British possessions in the Americas. Just seeing if maybe they were... I thought the it was the Argentinians were allied with the British a lot in previous episodes, so I was wondering if they were at least part of this war, but apparently not so far. We've got the British large stack in Cape Colony, so I'd expect them to start sieging down quite a bit here. Not looking very good for Cape Colony, although they did have quite a few troops. Yeah, look at all these troops up here. We've got yeah, British Sudan, British East Africa, British Somaliland. These, these are all fighting on the side of the Cape Colony for their independence. Who is... Okay, the French have... Are they doing another Polish-Hungarian imperialist war this time? Okay, previously they had done a punitive war against the Hungarians here, so the Hungary is still allied with France, so that's very good for the... I mean, the Hungarians here, that's very good for them to be allied with the French. But their actual stack here is not too good. So we'll see what happens here. I'm not sure if the Germans are going to allow the French to move across their land here, but at least the Hungarians are going to be able to take out Slovakia here. Yeah, I'm not expecting it. And unfortunately for the Hungarians, they're basically landlocked here. They kind of need to take out Croatia, I think. And then they, you know, have ocean access and the French can move their forces into hung Hungary if they wanted to and take over parts of Poland to as well. So, let's just check this out one moment. Cape Colony has still got positive war score. Looking at this. Okay, so Bulgaria is also against... That could be their axis right there. If they can get through Bosphorus here, they should be able to get into Bulgaria, if the French wanted to anyway. I don't know if they will. We've got some naval action going on in the Mediterranean between 
British Australia and Great Britain. Didn't realize that the Australians were on the side of Cape Colony, but they had declared war on for their independence at one point earlier, so... Okay. Interesting. I also thought that the Egyptians would be expanding a little bit more than they have here. This is quite a even naval battle here. It looks like the British have the upper hand at this point, though. Let's head on over to the far east again. So the Americans are sieged at least one province here in Japan. War still going on between the Soviets and the Japanese. I'm thinking that the Soviets are going to end up winning this war and probably be able to take a quite a bit of the provinces that the Japanese had taken from them previously. But we will see. Still, the Laotians and the French have not actually fought each other here. We've got the Japanese taking out a small Soviet stack there. Is there anything else going on? I'd kind of want to watch this Polish conquest. Let's head back over to... We'll be going between Europe and... and Asia there. So yeah, the Polish have their stack. It looks like they have defeated the Hungarian stack. In the previous war, they had a punitive war the Polish did against Hungary. I think Belgium was on the side of the Hungar of the Polish, and so the French ended up sieging down Belgium. Let's see, it looks like... And actually, the Polish had ended up sieging all of the Hungarian provinces, yet because the Hungarians were allied with the French, I think the Hungarians actually ended up winning that war, or at least it ended up in a white piece. Look at that, the Polish... Three-star general. It's very good for them. So the provinces that were taken by Cape Colony here in Algeria siege down and have been taken back. We've got... Looks like Cape Colony... They don't have the army together. Although they've got... Okay, that's Rhodesia coming in here, but just kind of scattered stacks around, so they're not going to be able to... I don't think they're going to be able to get their independence, even though... Yeah, they are they were a little bit higher in the positive score at one point, but no longer. Looks like the Polish are winning this Hungarian war, though. And the Americans are certainly on the positive side over here in Japan. Not very smart, though, not uh, having... They keep landing these forces, and they have no leader on them, so that's not very smart. Okay, the French have shown up with a larger stack. It looks like they defeated the Laotians here. So they should be able to gain the upper hand here, I would expect. Probably might be able to take back all of Laos here, but it. We'll see what happens. They're not certainly not moving very quickly. And they've sieged this back. They're gonna do that. They should just take out this army completely if they can. So I didn't notice, but we are up to 1980 now. Something we've been going for over 40 years now. A little bit different world we've got going here. Rhodesia, yeah, the Cape Colony, I don't think they're going to be able to get together the strength. Look at it, these Hungarian forces are completely... We've actually got the... this province here was sieged by the Polish. Okay, the Polish are... the Germans are allowing the Polish through Germany military access to get into France, but I don't know if this is a good idea. I mean, the French have 63k, although, actually, now that I say that, the Polish are, you know, they've got, what, 70k or so, almost? And the three-star general, they should be able to take out the French here pretty easily. It's like, 
with all these wars that we have going on, we are getting a little bit of slowdown now. Okay, we've got... This Kochi is actually taking... Okay, I was going to say, uh, I, th I read that the opposite way. I thought that they were... They had the positive war score when they're just like a one province. So... We'll see. I think the French <laughs> are going to um, hi try to hide in northern France here because the Polish are certainly going to be able to siege down some areas. It looks like even is Luxembourg on the side of the Polish here? Yeah, they are. Okay. I actually thought Luxembourg had been uh, annexed by the Germans at one point, but apparently they were not. Just can't really tell on the map with their, them being so small. Anything else? Yeah, this war is... Okay, I was I thought that was a new war, but that was just the French La Laotian one. The Soviets are now failing to capture... Yeah, Luxembourg's done that there. Have a negative war score for the Japanese. Did they finish that war off? Yes, they have. So the Japanese ended up defending... I don't think they took any new provinces. I don't have anything that hasn't been cored. Okay. Japan does have a claim on that province, though. So the Japanese were able to defend on that, but the Americans are sieging down quite a bit. Where did the Japanese stack? Did they abandon ship here in the Philippines and probably trying to move their forces back to the, back to the mainland here to try to fight off the American stack there? Probably should have been... not been paused there. Yes, yeah, so... Okay, the Soviets did have a three-star general there. So we'll see if... are the Japanese bringing some more of their forces on over here to mainland? Cannot tell yet. War score is definitely going on the side of the Americans, though. Well, while that happens, I'm going to go back to Europe and check on the Polish war here. The French are trying to run away, it looks like. They might have put their army on the navy over here. And the Polish, Polish are sieging Paris now, so remember when that happened in history? <laughs> so very good on the, for the Polish here. Very good for them. Although they have left all of their forces back. They should try to be have a little bit over here. Okay, we've got Polish completely taking out a stack of the French there that didn't have a leader at all. So this is going so on the side of the Polish. It's not even funny. I'm just surprised. Usually when because Hungary was allied with the French, the French are just... They're really failing in this in this series. They lost all of their colonial possessions as far as I know. Let's see, do they have anything? Yeah, they, they've got a little bit left, but yeah, French Maghreb there. They still have the areas in Syria, but for the most part, not very good. They are apparently allied with the Soviet Union. Certainly helps. Polish up to 38, the Americans are up to 31, war score. Fortunately, the Japanese are just... Okay, so the Americans have also taken all of the rest of the provinces in the Philippines here. Named the American Indonesia. <laughs> Alright, well, I would... I would think that the Japanese would want to move some of their forces. They've got, you know, almost 100k with some pretty good leaders over in what is Japanese Korea. So let's head on back over to Europe for the moment. Just want to, don't want to miss this uh, particular war if it ends up ending because I want to see what the Polish end up taking. Polish sieging all of the northern France without anybody trying to fight them. Not very good for the French. I wonder if Luxembourg is going to get any spoils from this war when it ends. 
move from a one province nation to a multiple. That, that would be interesting to see. Let's quickly check back here. All right, so the Americans continue to siege. But it does look like we're out of time for this episode. I hope you enjoyed this one, and please consider hitting the like button if you did, as it really helps out the channel. So I'll see you guys next time.